strong. This is absolutely <laughs> kind of insane, people. But uh, it is what it is. So, good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you, family. Welcome to the mental health. Oh boy, with me, your host. Okay, just so y'all know, the prosecutors over there in Russia asked for a nine and a half year sentence. A Russian prosecutor on Thursday asked a judge to sentence NBA basketball star Brittany Griner to nine and a half years in prison for drug charges. And the defense team in her trial said the judge was expected to hand down her sentence by the evening. In seeking close to the 10-year maximum, the state's request ignored the athlete's plea of leniency. Griner pleaded guilty in July to carrying a bait cartridge with cannabis oil into the country. Prosecutors call for a tough sentence for Griner as well as a fine of a million rubles, which is $16,000, came amid calls from the United States for Russia to seriously weigh the offer on a prisoner exchange to bring her home. One of Griner's lawyers, Maria Blagovilia of the Balkan Gorshin and Diakin and partners disputed with the severity of the charges and argued that investigators made errors in their case. The prosecutors contend that the 0.72 grams of cannabis found in Griner's luggage she handed um, when she landed at the airport was a significant amount. What the Griner testified last week that she was in a hurry when she packed and had no ideas that the bags were in and did not intend to break the Russian law. She testified that she uses cannabis oil in the United States for treatment of chronic pain from injuries, but knew that carrying cannabis into Russia was illegal and that she didn't do that. She said she flew to Russia despite U.S. State Department warning about such travels because she did not want to let her Russian team down. Damn. Uh, the Phoenix Mercury star player uh, for M UMCC Edinburgh. The Biden administration is feeling massive public pressure to secure her release. A behind-the-scenes negotiation greatly complicated the collapse of relations between Washington and Moscow because of the Ukrainian war. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken spoke to Russian Foreign Minister and late last week, urging him to accept a deal involving Griner and former Russian consultant Bill Whelan, an American who was serving a 16-year prison term in Russia. Whelan, who arrested in 2018 and convicted of spying in 2020, said he was frank. The United States has declined to say whether the pair will be swapped for Russian uh, Victor Bout, an arms trafficker who was arrested in the U.S. sting operation in Thailand in 2008. The administration's announcement of its proposed deal appears to be an effort to curb the criticism in the handling of the Griner case. But the Kremlin was told that Washington told Washington to refrain from megaphone diplomacy. There. Wow. With Russian foreign minister officials repeatedly warning that the public calls would not help her. Mm. <laughs> they do they they do they different. Okay? John Kirby, spokesman for the U.S. National Security Council, said Tuesday that the administration was not going to negotiate in public. We've made a serious proposal, made a serious offer, Kirby said, and we urge the Russians to take that offer because it was done with sincerity. We know we can back it up. 
In the past years, the United States has resisted Russian pressure to exchange bout, given the seriousness of his offenses. He was convicted in New York in 2011 and later sentenced to 25 years in prison to sell surface to air missiles, uh, AK 47s, and explosives to the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia or FARC, knowing that they had planned to shoot down U.S. helicopters. Um, a deal to bring Bout home would be a major political victory for the Russian President Vladimir Putin, signaling to his domestic audience that despite unprecedented Western criticisms and sanctions, he still has the clout to force the White House to negotiate with him. Bloomberg has reported that as part of the exchange, Moscow may seek the release of a wealthy Russian businessman close to the Kremlin named Vladislav Koishin, who pleaded not guilty in a Boston court in January over an alleged $82 million in inside inside trader scam. Klyushin claimed the case against him was politically motivated because of his ties to the Russian government. You know, um, it's not good. That's all I can say. It's not good. Uh, whatever y'all think about um, Brittany Griner, you know, her sexuality, none of that stuff had anything to do with being locked in a Russian prison for nine and a half years. Wish she had known better. Um, it reminds me of the movie Midnight Express. And um, what just what they did to that uh, Man from he's from Madison actually. Um, and he had cash. A um, way lot more than Britney had cash for it. I can tell you that. However, he was so abused in the prison at the end of the movie. I don't even want to be a spoiler alert, but if any of y'all haven't seen that movie. Please watch it, because Brittany Griner is living that right now, and the verdict is expected today, and the prosecutor asking for a nine and a half year sentence. I don't know, y'all. It ain't looking good. What y'all think? My prayers go out to Brittany and her family. I'll see y'all in the next video.